as you know, I broke my heel spur the day before yesterday, and I announced it to you yesterday. I am not okay. Am I ever okay? I'm not okay. I slept for a mere two hours last night, so if I look a little disheveled, that's why. I would not wish this upon anybody, and let me be clear. I can barely walk. I can barely go to take care of any type of business. I can't, you know, go to the toilet. I'm having problems sitting and standing. I'm just not okay. I currently have everything wrapped up in my sock to keep it together. If I got a lot of nice comments of people saying, oh, I've popped my heel spur too, it's very painful. If this is it not a wake up call, then I don't know what is. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Not a wake up call, then I don't know what is. First, my ribs, like half a year ago. Pop, 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 three of them. Then, while well, I was on this side. Then, my right heel spur. And I've had a heel spur for six months, in case you didn't see yesterday's video. And that's why I got a scooter. Orlin likes to make it a joke. It's something I'm learning to deal with. Walking is feel hard, very hard for me. That's why when I have to travel, it's always a lot of complaints out of me. I, my joints swell, my knees swell, my feet swell. I get out of breath. I become discombobulated, like my head. Like it doesn't, my body doesn't know exercise, believe it or not. It just doesn't know. It is not on a friendly basis with exercise. It doesn't understand exercise. If I present this body with exercise, it fights back. It's aggressive. It doesn't, it doesn't take no for an answer. <clears throat> so, I'm not okay. And that, you know, and I still did travel and I'm glad I did, but I literally only did that because I had already spent money and I couldn't get refunded. I made the best of it, y'all know. Um, if you didn't see my collab with Trailer Trash Tammy, I posted it on my main channel, excuse me, this channel, and she posted it on her channel as well. And I'm having another one come out on my main channel, which I'm still editing. So I'm officially disabled again, temporarily, but I don't know for how long. Because I've researched and I spoke to my doctor and he's like, oh, well, it could take you up to four months. Four months. I have things to do. I have places to be. Like the drive-thru, which I've been sending out. Now, honestly, Postmates is a lifesaver. So this just got delivered. This was actually Uber Eats. <clears throat> I got a 12-packer. <clears throat> and before I say this has something to do with my weight, I think that my diet doesn't really have much to do with it. It's just I'm too sedentary. I'm too sedentary. I just sit around all day, blah, blah, blah. And that's kind of what's happening. I'm not getting enough exercise, but I feel, feel like tomorrow will be day one when I actually take care of my health and take my health into my own hands because my doctors are lying and not doing enough for me. That's a problem in this country. Doctors don't do dilly squint. I went to the doctor like, oh, your weight's an issue. I'm like, well, do something about it. You're the doctor, are you not? And you're like, oh, stop being funny. First of all, they could prescribe a pill. They could give me liposuction, any, any of those things. <clears throat> and honestly, I'm not having it. I have this emergency immune booster, so I heal faster, and I got 12 tacos. So Taco Bell just came out with a brand new Doritos Fiery Hot, and apparently it's hotter than the last time. Remember they used to even have them, the Doritos Cool Ranch and stuff? But they took it off the menu, and I loved, love some Fiery Hot Doritos. Oh my gosh, they wrapped it up. Talk about the marketing. They wrapped it up in colorful. So, I got two tacos over here. Two tacos over there. Two tacos, two tacos. Taco. Taco, taco. Taco, taco. Taco, taco. Is this not food? Okay, and then I had to get one single taco, which they said I got the Supreme version to see what I like better. So that's going to be on the right-hand side, because right is good, left is bad, god devil. Didn't you learn that in school? Oh, my back hurts from me sitting hunched in the bed all day. I haven't left this bed all day except to go to the toilet, which I hobble on over. It's very difficult for me. It doesn't help that this is a one bathroom in this whole apartment. Okay. Lots of hot sauces, because I actually like the hot. Better than the mild and better than the five. Hot's just my favorite. 
I feel like I get the most amount of flavor without not upsetting my tummy too much. And you guys know if I have a nice tummy, then I definitely, do you guys like my voice? Or do you hate my voice? They say that fat people have nicer voices. They're soothing, has better ricochet, that ambiance, that better like vibrational spirits through my water. <clears throat> Like, think about it. When you're underwater and you go, ah, 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 ah it sounds really nice. That's because there's more water. There's more water in me because it's water weight. So, I have a nice voice. That's the science behind it. All the best opera singers back in the day were fat AF. And people were living for it. Yes. Okay, napkins they gave me a lot, which was nice of them. Oh, thank goodness, goodness, there's more food. I got a chalupa, which was free because I'm a great customer. I got, what's this? Oh, that's that Gordino Crunch because I'm a great, that was also free. I'm a great customer. I had to get just one soft taco because I'm a great customer. Oh, they gave me two. Oh, surprise. I only ordered one with my free freebie points. Great customer. And I can't go to Taco Bell anymore without a cheese quesadilla. I lo oh, love cheese. Da -da. Yes, I do. I do. I love cheese. Look, I, so I sound like an opera singer. Back in the day when people used to pay all of their rubies and all of their coins to go to the theater and sit in the front row to hear Miss Barbara sing at the opera. Ah. And now we just turn on TV and listen to the WAP. It's disgraceful. I saw yesterday the Super Bowls, which Orlin asked me the other day, what's the Super Bowl? I'm like, oh, you're so cute. He's kind of out of the loop, and so am I. I don't really like that. But, and we watched the half halftime, halftime show together, and I'm like, I don't know. This is not, this is low, low bar. <laughs> this is low. I don't know. Where's the musicality? There's no musicality. There's no phrasing, there's no thought. It's just, it's just blah, blah, blah. With nice dancers and pretty people. Okay, they were all attractive people. They had nice bracelets and earrings. But where's the raw talent? It's just kind of embarrassing for this country. But that's my opinion. Okay, bring back Beyonce, please. Pre please bring back, he was really good at the halftime show. Um, Lady Gaga was okay, I suppose. Apparently Michael Jackson was amazing, but I wasn't alive back then. But that's what my parents said. They said, we miss back in the 1960s, those types of artists, 1970s, the Bee Gees, the Mamas and the Papas, Michael Jackson, the Jackson Five, Aretha Franklin. They're, my parents were like, "That's that was music. Now we get gibberish. Gibberish and hate speech. And just embarrassment to the rest of the world that's watching. Like, oh my god, this is American culture right now? Ooh. Ooh. It's just like, it just, it's, the, the bar keeps going lower, lower. Going under the limbo. Ooh. How far will the bar drop under that limbo bar? Going, dropping, going, dropping, just like my views and my accountability. Dropping, dropping, dropping. Actually, my views are great. And actually, my, my accountability is very good. Let's eat. I'm done with the chit chat. This looks really cute, actually. Let me get my new purse. I wish I was alive for Michael Jackson. Was I? Alexa, when did Michael Jackson pass away? Michael Jackson died on June 25th, 2009 at the age of 50. The Los Angeles County Coroner. Alexa, stop! Okay, I was obviously alive, but I mean like his heydays. I was not alive. Or if I was, I was like five. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I thought ABBA was supposed to do the... See, that would have been nicer, but... <sighs> now we have... There's music for you in America. Okay, here's my purse that has to take center stage. And I thought the dancing was mediocre. They weren't even lined up correctly. I'm not... Uh, uh, listen... The bars should be set high for America Super Bowl. <sighs> don't you think the dancing was mediocre? I thought the dancing was so mediocre. And I didn't watch the game, honestly. People tackling each other. 
I get enough of that in this house. <sighs> Sit that over there. Oh, my vitamins! Don't fall. And I have my bell in case I need help. This is a new addition to my house. So here, let's test it. Orlin. He's gonna get fired. What do you want? You want salad? That's not how you talk to me. You don't come into this room and say, what do you want? You say, yes, sir, how may I serve you? Do you want me to bring your scooter? I'm not leaving. I need you, actually, I was just doing a test. So I can valet drive the scooter here. Valet? Goodbye. All right, you guys. Um, actually, it's time to start the show. Turn it off. You know, if you weren't so fat, this wouldn't happen to you. It has nothing to do with my weight. It has everything to do with my jeans. My jeans are screwy. You're discriminating. You are setting violence to me. Right oh. now. I, I revoke this violence... I shed this away. I'm protecting my field with my taco. How about you shed away your weight? Uh, my, there's nothing wrong with my weight. No, the boys nothing's like, wrong with it. Just that you have a little too much on it. Too much weight on you. The boys like me think at the club. The boys like me think at the club. I don't feel bad for you. Why? You should. I have a disability. Lose some weight. I can't. Orlin. You're not going to disrespect me. You thought I lose a little bit of weight, sweetie. I don't need to, sweetie. I was born this way, sweetie. I'm going to have a soft taco to cheer up my spirits. I, my, my, my heel is killing me. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, I love soft Tacos! That's my favorite thing for the spice. It really hurt. It, it's too loud. So I'm good. The neighbors hate me, but you know what? I'll blame it on him. What do you need now? What do you need now? The neighbors are gonna file a report. Cause you're not respecting me. What do you need? What do you need? Orlin, I have a question. Are you ugly? Yes. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. This is what I have to go through every day. People are like, oh, your marriage is going down the tubes. It's your fault, you bench. We never had a marriage. Oh, yeah, it was all fake. Okay, I have a question for you. Do you think you I could do... Yeah. You're making me spit cottage cheese all over the place. Question for Orlin. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything in the comments that you're being rude to your husband. He started it, as you can see. <laughs> like, this will have to go through. Okay, <clears throat> Orlin. <laughs> do you think... You have diabetes? Yeah, I do. For a couple days as they know but I cured it yeah it, you cured it and it evolved into type 3 diabetes uh, the question I had for you smart will there be loose skin yes K 
can you afford the surgery? No. Will it look like a skirt? Yes. Will your fupa touch your toes? Probably. Bubba, of this man. You are gonna get it tonight. <laughs> Not from you. Maybe the neighbor. <laughs> I had a question for you. I don't even feel like asking at this point. The question was, ooh, raspberries. Look, magic. This is for my health. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. Health is wealth tonight. Health is pink. Health is cool. Health is tasty and bright. I know more about nutrients than you really think. Pack doesn't count as a nutrient. Yes, it does. I'm on our brink for some nutrients because I know my timetables. Is that why you couldn't stay on Weight Watchers? And that's why you were born in a stables. You were literally born in a cabbage farm in Ukraine. Just saying. First of all, I never did Weight Watchers. Yeah, you're shows. Giving, yeah. You're, you're giving me... <laughs> I'm having stress right now. Ouch! Ouch! Bye! You're ridiculous. You're starting to gain fat on your forehead. You could never stay on Weight Watchers, though. They should make a pro program called Weight Gainers. I think you'd be really good at that one. Weight Gainers. It's okay. You can always go back to Octavia. Shh! I what did it do, Octavia! You guys, I can't breathe right now. I'm having an emotional situation type deal moment. Because I actually know what CPAPs are. Even though I'll tell my friends I don't know what CPAP is. Oops. Did this get unplugged? Oh no. How are you I don't feel any asleep? air. It's unplugged! It's unplugged. Or did it break? <gasps> you broke my CPAP. Is it? It's not working. I think you get you, you. You're one of the more advanced cases, and you have to get one that's for bigger people. First of all, CPAP. Maybe I need to get a reference. Goodbye. 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 All I was going to ask you is, do you think I could do a halftime show at the Super Bowls? Um, maybe you could dress up as a ball or something. You know, you're kind of shaped like a ball anyways. Mm. Are you jealous? Of what? The stretch marks? Of the taco, you dimwit! Oh, sorry. Not the acne. I'm about to throw this food in the face of me. See what I have to go through? You guys see what I have to go through every day? A lot of weight gain. Leave. 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 They can't see you, so don't even bother with your pants being up so high. They can't see you. And you have to fix my CPAP. This is not the, the a type of environment I should have when I'm recovering from broken heel spurs. Just disgraceful. Mmm. 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 So this was an original taco. Man, their meat is good. Now I have to try the brand new Doritos. Ooh, it's fiery hot. This is my first time having this since it debuted yesterday. Ooh, fiery hot, it's so red. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's try it. I should eat over this bag, shouldn't I? Ah! <laughs> I'm so 
I'm gonna stop. This is too much exercise. Oh my goodness. That's the best taco I've had through this body in a long time. Except the one with Trailer Trash Champion. That was probably the best taco of my life. That flavor of the spicy shell, it's like superior dog food. And I'm not even trying to be funny. It like tastes like cardboard box, and then it has all these deep levels. I'm not even being funny. Oh my god, I want more. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh. That's so good. And then I got a Supreme one. The same taco, except this time with sour cream and tomatoes. Where's the sour cream? Oh, it's in there. <gasps> Oh my, are you looking at this bright red taco? I have to do a whole separate mukbang. Dedicated to these fiery hot tacos. I have to. I have to. I'm gonna eat over the bag. Oh my God. the sour cream. Mmm! The sour cream! I think I like it better without it. Mmm! I love sour cream, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it weighs down the, the profile. And this has a crisp light crunch that you don't want to destroy with goo. In my opinion. I know why I like it? They combine the flavors of Fiery Hot and Cool Ranch. Isn't that what this is promoted as? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. <clears throat> Being disabled has never been so fun. I love cheese. Mmm. Mmm. You have to get their cheese because Mmm. Catching my breath. Catching my breath. This is magnificent. I love their cheese quesadilla. Mm. And I love my life. And I love all you idiots. All you fools. People are still buying these merches like off the rack. 20, 30, 40 orders a day. Idiots! Y'all are idiots! And I have to fart. Excuse me. I was telling my manager yesterday. Because we have these bi-weekly bi meetings. <clears throat> I'm like, my viewers love to be degraded. They get a kick out of it. And he's like, you know what? I think they do. <laughs> it's like, I was watching your videos, and you were going on and on about how stupid we are, how we're dumb little fruit fries. And I'm like, I kept wanting to watch. I'm like, yeah, I'll degrade you too, manager. Oh my god. Let's try a Doritos Loco again. The new Fiery Hot, oh my god. I'm gonna try it without the sour cream. No cream, please. I like it. Raw and rough, okay. It's beautiful. Mmm. <laughs> I just want to cry to the heavens. 
That is so flavor. That's better than the original Doritos Loco. They need to make this permanent. The amazing thing about Taco Bell is you're constantly bringing back new things, bringing back old things, getting you new excited. Mmm! Mmm! But they're smart. You know, they could have this year round, but they choose not to. They choose to take it off, put it in, take it off, put it in, take it off. Keeps people on their toes. People are willing to run out and get it. More so than if they know it's there forever. Mmm. 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 You know, you wouldn't be breaking your heel spur if you weren't so fat, you know? You, you know, you can stop with these rep repeating, repetitive jokes. You parrot! Well, can you stop the repetitive weight gain? I've been on a weight loss journey. Uh, weight gain journey, actually. By mystery. No one knows why. Well, then my heel spur has nothing to do with my weight! Just leave! <sighs> Next, we're going to try a Chalupa. Well, you have another excuse to not walk. I mean, waddle. Good. <clears throat> Next, we're going to try the free chalupa. Because I like it free. I missed their cheddar toasted. That was so good. Okay, here's the chalupa. Oops. Mmm. 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 Do you know this whole taco is 500 calories? Oh. And let's try this one, the Gordita Crunch. <clears throat> so this is that brand new uh, fiery hot taco inside. See, that's why this is so amazing. See, it's the Cool Ranch mixed with the fiery hot. Can you, <gasps> look at the cream. <clears throat> Can y'all see this? That's, see, I didn't really know what I was ordering. It just says new fiery hot. I'm like, y'all know I love spicy. Okay, let's try it. So Gordita Crunch is basically, Gordita means fat girl. <laughs> How are they not canceling Taco Bell for having their taco called fat girl? I would be called a Gordito. Gordo. Gordito means a cute fat boy. Gordita means a cute fat girl. So this is a cute fat girl and she's loaded with a pink little slit. Oh, <gasps> this <clears throat> is a misogynistic taco. Cancel Taco Bell. Okay, let's eat it. Let's eat her little. <laughs> let's eat it. Let's eat her taco. There's a lot to chew on in here. <clears throat> I know I took two bites and swallowed, but whew. I prefer it natural. I like the chalupa better. I like the the no sour cream, no loaded, regular brand new fire top Doritos logo. I don't like this. It's too much bread. It's too much chewing. It kind of sogs it up. It defeats the purpose. No. Not wasting stomach space on that. I've never liked the Gorditos. Well, see, it's, of course, because it's discriminatory, so of course I don't like discrimination tacos. Discriminatory taco! Alexa, what does gordo mean? Gordo usually refers to a diminutive of the male given name Gordon. No, no. Alexa, what does gordo mean in Spanish? Gordo, in English is fat. Okay. Alexa, what's the Spanish... Ooh. As a noun, Spanish can have a couple Alexa, meanings. Alexa, what does gorda mean in Spanish? Gordita? Gordo. 
in English is fat. Alexa, what's gordita mean in Spanish? Hmm, I don't know that one. It means little fat girl. <clears throat> ah, ouch, ouch, my heel spur. <sighs> you can't cancel Taco Bell, that's too good. How about we choose not to be offended? How about that? Do you know everything in life is your choice? How you react, how you, how much real estate you give it in your brain, how much thought, how much energy, how much time. You are in control of you. How about let's uh, be big boys and big girls, put on our big boy pets, and be control of our own reactions. How about that? I've been watching a YouTube channel. I already shot them out two times. I don't even care. It's called Karen's in the Wild. I say to myself, how are these people living in this real world with those real reactions for not getting their way? It's giving me a lot of inspiration for my skits. Dang. I have a whole notepad of things I need to do based on that channel. Oh, it's brilliant. And sad. Next. Let's do another one of these. I'm not even having my sauces. It's so good. This is so good. If someone doesn't like this, I don't like them. How about that? Who came up with this? It reminds me of cheesy spicy noodles, actually. Mmm! Mmm! It's spicy, it's cheesy. Cool Ranch. Mmm! I love being fat. Oh no, I'm starting to feel full. Let's have a classic Dorito, a uh, classic taco. And let's add a little fire sauce. Excuse me, hot sauce. Don't you love my eating show? I use the wrong language. I wear the wrong shoes. I say the word wrong, the wrong words. I said the wrong word. Uh, excuse me. I said the wrong word. So much wrong on this profile. Okay. Mmm. 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 How could you not like Taco Bell? Mm. I love being fat. I'm a fat opera singer today. 
The wedding march, except it's a funeral. Ah. I'm still kicking. Oh, I'm healthy. I made a funeral for uh, who's recently just passed. Let's think. American dignity. Ah, oh, ring those bells. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> American talent. Bye bye. We got the Super Bowl full of people saying horrible things about degrading people. No phrasing, no musicality, nothing. And everyone's like, but I want to be cool. I want to be hip. I want to be funk. I want to be trendy with culture. Oh, I want to be a cool mom. Do you even know what you're doing? Actually, one of my best friends is from Australia, and she was just telling me how sad it is to see the American, uh, what'd she say? It's like pop. She called it pop culture. It's not pop. She's like, over here, we're all just like, wow. Man, this taco is so good. How many have I had? It's all becoming a blur. Oh my god, that flavor of profile. I can't say it enough. We all have to try this. Taco Bell. I just sent you a thousand customers right now. I hope you know. I got probably what? 200,000 people watched this yesterday. At least a thousand of them. Of those 200,000. Went out to go try this because of me. Each one of these costs like four dollars. <clears throat> or three dollars. Say the average person orders three. Three times three is six. So plus taxes six times a thousand you made seven thousand mm. dollars for my food review dang that's so good man let's have a softie I'm going to need a moment of silence for this. This is still my favorite item, the classic, out of everything. <sighs> Catching my breath. Don't judge, Ashley. Just opening up my gills. Man! <clears throat> this is so good. I love Taco Bell. Uh. Uh. The dairy is getting to me. I'm feeling congested already. I've been reacting more and more to dairy lately. 
Have you noticed, like, my nose? Well, you wouldn't know. I know. Excuse me. <clears throat> the dairy. I feel more. Okay. So, we're not doing the gordita to crunch. I'm going to go donate this to the poor. Give it to charity. Good charity work. we we'll put that in my purse so I don't forget. Put it on the side so it doesn't get smushed. There's a nice lady on the corner right outside the bank. I know how to give that to. Um, let's do another classic. Man, they're greasy. There's no place I talk about. 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 I've had seven tacos. One, two, three, four, five. There's five left. There was 12 in total. One, two, three, four, five. I had seven tacos plus eight tacos because I had the entire Supreme one plus two more tacos because I ate the entire cheese quesadilla. It's about two tacos worth. Plus half a taco because I ate half my chalupa. Plus two more tacos because I had Two soft tacos. I had 15 tacos in front of you people. Am I fat? It's just... Entertain them. No! You're so lazy. Y'all want entertainment? Y'all want entertainment? I'll give you entertainment. But not right now, because I'm too tired. You guys, I just turned off the camera to change the battery, because the battery died. Because that's what they say in British. I got the battery. I have a battery. Well, I changed the battery. And I was laying here. Thinking about my life, my precious life. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. And how I have a heel spur that's broke. I was thinking to myself, what am I doing with my life? Does anybody know? Does anybody know what I'm doing with my life? Like, hello, does anybody know? This is kind of ridiculous. It's bizarre. And I'm out of breath and I don't know why. I, all I was doing was sitting here eating and I'm out of breath. I'm literally out of breath. And all, I do, all I've done was sit. What is happening? Why am I out of breath from sitting? Can someone please comment below and tell me? Why am I out of breath from sitting? I need to know. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm otherwise healthy. So I don't want to hear any discrimination about my weight because I am otherwise healthy. And um, I think I'm done, but I don't really know. I don't know what's happening. Mmm. When I eat food and the those t flavors touch the tip of my tongue. All my worries just melt away. All of my concerns just disappear. 
it's a beautiful thing. It really is. Oops, I can't blow too hard. I might fart and poop at the same time. Why are you watching me? Why are you watching? This is not okay. I'm actually not, but, oh, sorry. Ah, cheapers creepers. Well, I'm gonna have one last Doritos Loco. Fiery hot, cool ranch version. Cause it's so good. I love to eat. Oh, that flavor. That flavor, though. That flavor. This flavor. Mmm. I'm out of breath. Here's no more water. Okay, when there's no more water, that means show's over. So y'all got done watching this train wreck of a video. I understand. Oh. Ah. 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 I'm catching my breath. I don't know what's happening. Why does that happen? Does anybody know why we have to catch our breath while eating? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. So, I'm gonna get going, peasants. Ah! My ankle. Heel spur is right here. Oh, I can't even pick it up. I currently have bandages wrapped around it. It's I keep my socks on so I keep it together. They might have to do surgery on Friday. Guess who'll be vlogging the whole thing? Me? Uh, you just love to see me in that hospital bed. Hey, it's time for a mukbang. I'm still gonna try to post hospital food mukbang. Oh my god, with my foot up in the air in this cast. Well, goodbye, peasants. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Buy a t-shirt, too. Get yourself a hoodie of my face on it. Link down below. It's just waterweight.com. You know you want to go to my website. Uh, all the cool kids are... I just had two orders last night from Singapore. There's people in Singapore walking around with hoodies of my face on it. I think it's amazing. Uh... Uh, could you imagine all the Singaporeans being like, what is that? Who is that? Why are they crying? Like, if they're riding the bus, they'd be like, what's on your shirt? Like, they're really going to... They won't be able to handle. They will not be able to handle all this. But thank you for buying. Enjoy the quality. It's very good quality. Very soft. Goodbye. See you on my website. Link down below. It's just waterweight.com. Because it is just water weight. It's just water weight. Cheapers. Even though I can't... Do I look fat from this angle? It literally looks like a tube top. I'm out of breath. Hi, it's me. 
I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C. Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown-up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only, and new openings become available available on a first-come, first-served basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. If you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.